I'm a teacher in Cambridge Public Schools. I started coming to Fenway Health um, when I was 18 and Borum when I was 19. And being able to just to bring up any questions that even I thought were stupid, I just didn't want to ask anyone else. The Borum was a place where I could go and ask those questions and get real answers. The Borum is a space where you can come and be safe, be comfortable, not worry about anything, not feel judged for anything, be able to bring up any issues you have, and have it done in a way that it feels like you're <laughs> with a friend who just happens to have a medical degree. And they take sometimes scary things and make it manageable. The Borum really empowers you and just makes you feel like part of something. What makes the Borum a really great space is that they have dealt with other people who are trans, like this is one of their specialties. I've dealt with a lot in the past year, like I've been like kicked out and lost in my family, but I feel like I've gained a lot, like I'm happy with myself. That was like a long process of going from like hating to like loving myself and like trying to just like persevere through all the oppression. When you come into the Borum and you see all the staff, they're like happy to see you and they know who you are. And they truly want to see like all of us, like I think, succeed in life. And I think that's what makes them different and also what makes them the best in trans healthcare. So I first found the Borum when I was 18. I was looking for a healthcare provider that was LGBTQ friendly, particularly being a youth and like not knowing really how to navigate the health field and like advocate for myself in a health setting. Having the Borum as a support system was really important for me. When I first got here, I was surprised that people were really patient. And I think I had a lot of questions that I'd never been able to ask before. Some of them I was like, I should know the answer to this, but I don't. I think that queer youth are very underrepresented and it's hard to make any change even within your own community um, and in terms of outside of that community when you're not visible. And so I think that having that invisibility is kind of what lets people start to fall through the cracks in terms of like sexual health education, not accessing health care, not having spaces where you feel like you can go to get your needs met that are safe and supportive. I think the most important part about the Borm for me is that I know when I come here that I'm not going to be turned away for whatever reason. It's one of the like few spaces in my life where I felt that I can reach out and really get the support I need to access whatever health care that I need. They're really there to help you advocate for yourself. I think it's just a skill that <laughs> the Vorm helps build and it's you.